Hello, Internets. Hey, Ninja Web. We are two guys who watch movies. I am Scott. Uh, I'm not saying I'm Batman. I'm just saying you've never seen me and Batman in the same room together at the same time. Car. And with me, as always, is... Robert, I kissed a girl, and I liked it. James. Yeah, well, I'm not surprised. Well, are you, you know, surprised? Not at all. Were, were you shocked by that? No. Are you un thinking something else is going to happen? Well, you know, she could have bit my bottom lip. That's Wait, possible. I like that. Never mind. Too much. Oh, too much information. Anyway, today we are talking about movies, and we are talking about the uh, Suicide Squad. Sorry, I almost put the the. Oh my God! No, no. How could I put the the? The the. That's the, 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 the. Yes. Yeah. Yes. The the the. You the, know the. what? The the is in the new da da, not the old da da. Yeah, the, the old da da was no da da. Yeah, there you go. I right. think we got it now. Yeah. In fact, we uh, not too long ago did a trailer reaction, and I actually got them backwards. I I realized that after we did the video, I I actually had them flipped. I, you know, I called this one the Suicide Squad, the new one Suicide Squad. Uh, when yeah, no, no. Originally, they had no the. They they added the the. I just figured that the internet loves to crucify people, and I would just give them the nails. <laughs> yeah, that explains a lot. <laughs> yeah, so yeah, uh, instead of uh, putting a two on the, on the sequel or the, the whatever reboot, whatever it's called, they just added a the. We're going to call this Suicide Squad 2016. All right, so as always, we are going to be talking about the good, the bad, and the ugly. But now before we tell you, this is unscripted and mostly harmless. See, I expect you just throw in the intro before I, we even got there. So. I always try to say it before I eh, throw it. If you must. I do. And you really should lift with your legs more when you throw it. You know, it's That's kinda true. heavy. I'm, it's kinda I'm heavy. Bending it to waste. Yeah, yeah, you gotta do that. So I have anyway, a lot of waste. Uh we are of course gonna be talking about the good, the bad, and the ugly. As always. Uh did you wanna uh, tackle the synopsis on this or should I? Um a bunch of rejects do a bunch of things. <laughs> um, the plot is non-existent, and there's a witch. Well, that, that's one way of putting it. Mm -hmm. uh, I would say, basically, it's about some woman, some government woman, who has a brilliant idea. Hey, let's go and have a bunch of bad guys form a team instead of a bunch of good guys. Because, hey, if the good, bad guys get caught uh, doing whatever black op mission we decide to give them, hey, we, get, we can just say, hey, they're bad guys. We don't know what they were up to. Uh, and then, uh, you know, hey, something horrible happens. And, oh, hey, this is a perfect chance for us to go and try this new thing that we just came up with. And, oh, look, everything went horribly wrong. Who would have guessed? What a surprise. <laughs> <laughs> Using bad guys to go and do good things. It's Seemed like a good going. idea at the time. Yeah, exactly, at the time. You know, but yeah, no. So, mm -hmm. that, that's, that's how it goes. That, that's the basic <coughs> gist of the plot line, you know. Uh, we'll be getting into more items on that uh, plot line list later on as we go uh, through this uh, list yes. of things. I, I'm sure <laughs> you're going to be mentioning a thing, bunch of things. I know I'm going to be mentioning a bunch of things. So let's just get straight into it. Let's go right to the good. Hmm. Uh, do you have any good? Because you keep, telling me, you keep telling me that you uh, rather dislike this film. So I'm, I was expecting no good this time. Uh, no, no, no. Okay. Will Smith, next. <laughs> okay, so you liked Will Smith. I, I, I truly enjoyed, you mm -hmm. could tell, mm -hmm. Mr. Smith was not overly joyed at the script. Oh, okay. Or the character. And yet, he made it very entertaining. In fact, mm -hmm. I dare say, watchable. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> That's, that's it for my good. Well, I, I, I will agree with you on Will Smith. Uh, entertaining as always. I uh, am a fan of Will Smith. Most of the movies that he's in, I rather enjoy uh, because of his performance. You know, uh, And even the films that I don't enjoy the film, I usually still enjoy his performance, usually. You know, um, but uh, yeah, my, I would have another good. Of course, my good is also going to be uh, Margot Robbie as Harley Quinn. Now, I know we don't totally agree with this, but I personally feel that she does a great Harley Quinn. I absolutely adore her in this movie. Uh, to me, she was one of the highlights of the film easily. Um, and then one other one uh, that I have to include uh, 
is the Amanda Waller character. Uh, I cannot remember the actress's name. Uh, I know, uh, Viola I know Davis. You brought a cheat sheet. IMBD. That's the only <laughs> thing we're using because we're kind of looking like fools. So, yeah, Viola <laughs> Davis as Amanda Waller was phenomenal because Amanda Waller has always been this badass government character who always feels that the ends always justify the means, uh, who is very much got a, a tunnel vision as to what she believes is the right way to do things uh, and is not about to let anyone talk her out of her beliefs. And is very good, as she says in the movie, at getting people to do things uh, that they don't want to do. Uh, and she nails the character in this film. Uh, she is, Everything that she does in this film, I can honestly believe that she would have done in the comics. So, uh, no, I, I'm totally okay with her in this film. I think she is a phenomenal part of the movie. Uh, she was another big part of the reason why I liked this film. So, yeah. yeah. You, you, you probably have comments later on in the oh, other sections. Oh, yeah. But uh, me personally, I, I absolutely love it. Uh, her as that character. As far as other characters go, I, I do want to mention a, a couple other uh, ones that are less good and more, um, what, what, what do I call it? Uh, what, what do you call it when uh, someone doesn't uh, reach the top three? Honorable, honorable mentions. Honorable mentions, thank you. So these are more honorable mentions than good. Um, <laughs> Jay, Jay Courtney playing uh, Captain Boomerang. I, I had so much fun watching him. I mean, he he was very enjoyable uh, because Captain Boomerang, anyway, is just kind of an oddball character. I thought he played fine. Uh, so, yeah, I think that's about it for the good. Thank God. Let's go to the um, bad. Hold on. I, hold on. I'm just making sure I haven't forgotten anything. Um, yeah, I think that's it. I, I can't think of anything else off the top of my head. I might, we might revisit uh, an extra good later on if I think of one. But that's all I can think of. <laughs> Let's start with Amanda Waller. Now, you already know my feelings, so go ahead. This has nothing to do with Viola Davis. Viola Davis. Mm -hmm. This has nothing to do with the way she played the character. Mm -hmm. I am speaking about Amanda Waller. Okay, sure. You're my good guy. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You're what passes for the hero. Uh, sort of. Uh, you suck. <laughs> we have nobody to root for in this movie. Yeah. They're all horrible people. Even the good guys are horrible people. I find myself rooting for the Joker because at least wow. his motives are pure. He's trying to save his girl. Mm -hmm. He's the only good guy. Have you have you read the comics, The Suicide? Yeah. Okay, because yeah, she never really... and She never struck me as a... a Good guy. No, but in this you know. movie, she is our good guy. Or the closest thing we have to oh, it. Oh, I guess the closest. I, I never got the impression that this movie was supposed to have good guys in it. I mean, the whole point of Suicide Squad is a group of villains trying to do some good. But they're villains. They're not good guys. They're all bad guys. They're all villains. Uh, Every just... story has to have a yin and a yang. Yeah. Or you have no story. Eh. Depends, it depends on how you look at it. But uh, I've always felt that Suicide Squad was supposed to be that a bunch of bad people are trying to do some good. Uh, and Amanda Waller isn't really a good person, despite the fact that she's the one that's the, leading this thing. She, yeah, she's, she's got this whole idea, I can make bad people do good stuff. But she still sees that the... Ends always justify the means, so she does horrible but things to get to that point. That's where we disagree, because there was no... She didn't care about the ends. This was all about her and her career, and proving about what she could do. She had no desire to see these guys succeed or fail. It was irrelevant to her. Proof positive, she walks in and kills an entire room full of people because they knew the bad. Oh, well, because they knew Exactly. Yeah, they these knew. are army people mm -hmm. servicemen and she you like you're f you mm -hmm. sorry i right. really dislike that i thought it was disrespectful to the military and i don't she's not she's not my hero yeah well like i said i don't think she was supposed to be a hero but and uh, that's fine and, yeah. and you're probably so, right but 
Mm -hmm. In a movie, I need somebody to root for. I know. And I dear know. God, I was rooting for the Joker. I say, honestly, this is just not a movie you really have anyone to root for, for like a heroic type no. character. There is no heroic type characters. But like I said... Except for the Joker. Yeah. Well, uh, uh, I don't, I, he, don't entirely agree with that. But dude, I'm he just, was a horrible actor. Yeah. But he was... <laughs> no, no, Jared Leto was a good actor, actually. No, no, no. He's not bad. The way yeah. he played the Joker, though we agree to disagree, it was not good, Mr. Leto. Mm -hmm. Leto, not good at all. You're part of my bad. You are the bad. <laughs> anyway. You're bad. Um, so my, my next bad, and maybe you were going to mention this anyway, Slipknot. <laughs> Who? There, yeah. <laughs> so there's a character called Slipknot. Hmm. There you, is. You might forget this if you, you watch the movie because he's only in the movie for about five minutes. The thing is, is that now the whole point of Slipknot, and they even did this in the comics, oddly enough. Uh, the point is, is that these guys, these are villains. They have these, these bombs put in their bodies, right? And uh, the whole thing is that they're claiming that if they don't do what they're supposed to, they're going to, you know, arm the bomb and blow their heads off. Adam Beach. Before you ask. Adam Beach played Slipknot, yes. Uh, so, in the comics, what they uh, did in one of the, at least in one of the comics, they had a character named Slipknot, and uh, he was an established villain. It just He was like one of the real low-end tier villains. Because a lot of the villains in Suicide Squad are low-end tier villains. Because they've had so many villains. Right. He's had so many. They've got... You know, hundreds to choose from to go and throw in Suicide Squad. And the whole point of Suicide Squad is that they wanted to show in the comic that you don't know who's going to survive. They're called Suicide Squad for a reason. Because they're going to kill off a lot of these villains. Mm. And you have no idea who's going to make it, who's not going to make it. And they decided to demonstrate this by having a character right off the bat who decides, I'm going to, uh, I don't believe them. They're making this up. We don't have bombs in our uh, head. They just are using this as a scare tactic. I'm going to run away. He tries to run away and they blow his head off. And that proves that, one, the bombs are real. And two, the fact that, yeah, we're going to kill off villains. You do not know who's going to survive this. And that was the point in the comics. Now, they decided, hey, we're gonna, let's do the same thing in the movie. So that, that way you don't know if any of these people are going to make it. You don't know who's going to live. You don't know, don't know who's going to die. And you know that the bombs are real. Okay, I get that. But they failed. Do you know why they failed? You yeah, forgot to establish, establish that Slipknot was a thing before he died. Slipknot's the only one who doesn't get an introduction. Yeah. All of them get not only a big, long introduction. They way get, too long. Way too long. They get their freaking name and all these freaking things about them. Did they even do that with Slipknot? I, I, don't even, I, 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 I think when he first comes around the corner, they have his name quickly. Mm -hmm. And then he dies seven seconds later. Yeah, well, the, I, 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 all they mentioned about Slipknot. In, in fact, no, they, yeah, they did not do the name thing with all the things. That, no, like, no, they no. didn't do that at all because the only thing they mentioned mention is when he comes out of the uh, van uh flag goes that's slipknot he the guy can uh get out of anything or uh, climb any rope or if, if it can be climbed he can climb it or some you know bs like that right. like and that makes him a villain well, sure i mean granted there's there's a lot of ones on here that you can be like how, how does that make them a super villain but this one i thought was the absolute worst he can climb anything doesn't matter because you're dead in six seconds. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I, you're right. But at the same time, it's like it was obvious he wasn't going to survive because they didn't even give him an intro. If you want to fake out a, uh, an audience, give him an intro. Yep. You know, make it as long as the other ones. You don't make it longer. You don't make it shorter. You make it the same freaking length. You give them all the same type of introduction because then it's going to be surprising when all of a sudden you kill him off. Because it's like, oh, wow, I didn't see that coming. Right. But when you give him no introduction, it's like, well, he ain't going to last long. <laughs> as soon as Captain Boomerang <coughs> tries to talk him into leaving, like, well, he's about to get his head blown off. Yeah. No, no. Because you know Captain Boomerang's only doing it to test to see if whether or not they actually have the bombs. He's not even planning on running. He's just trying to get someone else to try to run. He wants to see what happens when you run. Yep. Yeah, exactly. My other bad. Mm-hmm. Is this going to be character development? And you kind of hit it on the head. 
mm-hmm. a seven and a half minute text scrawl about yeah. all the bad things you allegedly done means nothing to me. Mm-hmm. The only character I connected with, and damn it, I wish it wasn't, was Will Smith, was oh, okay. uh, Deadshot. Deadshot. Mm-hmm. A- and I, I want to say it's because I'm not drawn to Will Smith as an actor, that mm-hmm. it was good sure. writing, but the truth of the matter is I'm drawn to Will Smith as an actor. <laughs> Matt Kemp, he, he's really good well. at capturing your attention. Okay, mm-hmm. I'm going to pay attention to this guy. Right. But that seems to me to be the only one that really had their backstory. He had the, I, the with Batman and with his daughter. I would, and say, I, mean, I would say three of them got backstories. He gets a backstory because we find out about him and his daughter right. and even his ex-wife. Oh, Diablo. Diablo has a family. background story yeah. because we find out about his wife and what happens to his family and the reason why now he's become a pacifist and doesn't even want to use his powers. And then we have a backstory with Harley Quinn, uh, which they're, they're touching on the whole relationship with the Joker. But, I mean, it's just her relationship with the Joker is really her background story. Right. But that's the most we get because other other than that, uh, what do we get about uh, Captain Boomerang? He likes to steal things, and he doesn't work well with others. That's his That's, whole background story. So, yeah, but the, the bad... There wasn't a lot. And then uh, Killer Croc. He lives in the sewer, and he likes to eat people. Wow, that, that's a lot of background, right? Yeah, so the, um, the other bad would be, again, they just totally dropped the ball on character development. Yeah, and then uh, Rick Flagg, the only thing we learned about him is that he likes the the one villainess, the, the um, uh, what's her name, uh, the who becomes the bad guy. Uh, something which, um, 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 oh. You'd think I'd, I'd remember her. Yeah, because she's my ugly. She, I mean, she's the, the whole preview. <laughs> she's the whole reason enchantress enchantress yeah he he falls for well the girl who's got the enchantress in, in, in her body um and then uh oh june and moon. Then, june and then her background all we get about her is she was an archaeologist and she was terrible at her job but she found a witch yeah well but she's terrible at her job Good call. <laughs> Even Ash finds a Pikachu every once in a while. I'm just saying that they didn't have a whole lot of background for these, despite the fact that they had opening sequences for them all. In fact, I, I got the impression that Captain Boomerang's uh, opening sequence is just so we can have a, a cameo from The Flash. Could be. Could and be. That's all. What? Yeah. No honor among thieves. No. Not at all. <laughs> Okay, so is that uh, the end of that bad? Okay. I think that's the end of bad. Oh, is that all your bad? That's all my bad. That's all your bad. Okay. I make a drone um, on about what everybody yeah. else drones on yeah. about, and I'm not going to do that. Now, I was going to mention the Enchantress uh, as a, a bad, but I already knew he was going to do it as an ugly, so I'm not going to bother because I'll just talk about it when he gets to it <laughs> with the ugly. So we'll, we'll get there. We'll get there. Don't worry. Um, uh, another bad, Aww. another bad though, because I, I don't worry, I got an ugly. Oh, no, say for the shit demon. Don't worry, I got an ugly. But uh, but uh, one more bad uh, is the basically the plot line. Yeah, because we don't have much, do we? No. I mean, though, I get the idea that this is supposed to be an origin story, and that's fine. It's an origin story. Okay, we're supposed that's to learn about this. But when it comes to what the actual thing is they created it and we'll be talking about more of that with your when you talk about the enchantress but they created the problem this isn't hey a big bad showed up and now we're going to throw the suicide squad at them and see what happens no it's something happened because of what we have in our freaking party now we got to fix it we created a problem now we're going to use the suicide squad to fix the problem we created you mean Amanda Waller created a problem, and now she's using the Suicide Squad. Less that to... she created the problem, and more along the lines of she thought she had more control than she realized. Thereby <laughs> creating a problem. Yeah. But yeah, well, you, you get what I'm saying. I do. Uh, and that's... That's kind of what bothered me about this, that, you know, I was wondering why in the trailers... They weren't mentioning who the bad guy was. They really can't. It was all about this. Oh, you know, we're going to send the villains. The villains got, are the worst heroes ever, and they got to save the day. It's like, okay, but what are they fighting? Who are they going up against? And when, you find, when I found out, I was severely disappointed 
because I just wanted them to come up with some other villain or some some other unique thing for them to go up against. And it didn't happen. It did not. And that was disappointing. It was very disappointing. Mm -hmm. But so was this entire film. Uh, I don't agree with that. That's fine. All right. So we might as well get to it because you can't wait. I can already see the excitement on your face. So let's go on and move on to the ugly. Shit TV! They're way too happy about that. Got ugly, got ugly, You're way too ugly. happy about the, getting to the ugly on this film. Just, I've all right, been just, holding this in since we did our reaction video to Suicide Squad uh, 2 all that time ago. Just oh. let it go. Go on. Okay. I'll, I'll just take a nap over here while you rant. No, no, no. This will be a short rant. <laughs> because, because you already touched on part of it. At least it's a short rant. Okay. The plot. Yeah. And more importantly, the Enchantress. Yeah. Go on. You and you stole a lot of my thunder. And you <laughs> created the Enchantress. And the Enchantress is not scary. Mm -hmm. The Enchantress's brother is not scary. Mm -hmm. And also completely irrelevant. Why do you exist? Why are you here? Is she not a big enough badass to take care of it by herself? No. I, I think the, he was there for two reasons. One was to be fake out, uh, to make you think that he was going to be the villain... Uh, like, that way they could have shown some of the trailers. You know, they, they could have shown him in the trailer and been like, this is the big bad. Mm. I think that was really the point. You know, they, they, he was supposed to, meant to be a fake out, you know. Uh, although, the other thing is, and this actually touches on something else I said earlier, he's a big CG character. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So why isn't Killer Croc a big CG character? Mm, no clue. <laughs> why do we have the villain, a giant freaking... But... Whatever. To continue. Yeah, go on. <clears throat> I know you're not done. <clears throat> and again, we talked about this a little beforehand. The Scouser Critic reviewed this and said the same thing. Really, all you needed was the Enchantress. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. um, the rest of the team's irrelevant. Diablo, I know, he's supposed to be the big bad. And you yeah. just, what? You got, I, what Diablo you has, had, yeah, he has powers. He actually has So powers. does the Enchantress. Yeah. Well, no, well, the, the argument was you just need Enchantress because she, she's basically the only one with powers <laughs> for the most part. Right. Because what are the powers of the other one? Deadshot's just good at shooting things. Boomer, yes. uh, uh, Captain Boomerang's just good with boomerangs. Right. Just right, right. happens to be really good at but, throwing them and getting them. And then uh, Killer Croc, yeah, he's strong, and he can breathe underwater, I think. But other than that, w what else does he have? Yeah. He doesn't have anything. Nope. But, uh, and then uh, Harley Quinn's crazy. That, that's her superpower. She's crazy. Um, other than that, Diablo. Diablo actually has powers. Well, and that's what I was getting to. It should have been Diablo, good guy, mm -hmm. Enchantress, bad guy. Everybody mm -hmm. else doesn't matter. Right. And that I, is I the ugly. Mm -hmm. You really, everybody else is cannon, cannon fodder or in there for stupid ass jokes, mm -hmm. which this movie did not need. Right. If well, any movie should have been dark. Mm -hmm. Well, oddly enough, that's why you, you uh, that, that's why they were trying uh, hashtag uh, David Ayer cut because it was supposed to be. Well, that would be wonderful. Yeah. But my ugly is... But sadly, yeah, they're not going to release it. They uh, said they... they oh, have, no, because they you can't, it. because if you've got James Gunn coming out with mm -hmm. The Suicide Squad, it's yeah. not going to be dark either. And if it's not, and it's intentionally funny, yeah. great! Because when Thor Ragnarok mm -hmm. came out, my brain said the same thing. This is going to suck. Mm -hmm. Until I watched it and went, okay, I have been silenced. Yeah. But, you know, uh, David Ader said it was very serious, very dark. In fact, uh... There was a much bigger plot line with the Joker, oddly enough, in it. Uh, you know, since it's not going to come out, it, I might as well. It doesn't matter if I spoil this or not, but because he already spoiled it, he had it on Twitter. Uh, basically, from what was leaked out, uh, the Joker basically shows up at the end and tells him, "No, she's the intentions is right. She's the, she's the bad guy. <clears throat> she's the villain. We should let her do what she wants." Why, why are you trying to stop her? Well, you, you're, you're villains. You're not heroes. Why are you even here? You, you idiots? No. Uh, let her do what she wants. Because basically, the whole thing was like she was saying, hey, you know, you guys are villains. Because at the end, she's trying to get She's them. trying to get to the joint. Which... Yeah, and, and he goes with it. He, he's like, yeah, she's going to go and make me a, like a kingdom or whatever like that. And I'm just they all should have. Yeah, exactly. He's like, why aren't you going along with her? You should be. 
It's like, you guys are idiots for not going along with her. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah, he had a larger uh, role, actually, in the film. Uh, and he, his character was a, a bit different, you know, because, once again, he's all about anarchy and chaos. And that's exactly what she's bringing to the table as far as he's concerned. Right. You know, so he doesn't understand why these guys are even trying to stop. They're like, you're not Batman. Why are you here? You know? So... So, yeah, I, I would have loved to see the David Ayer cut because uh, I, I suspect he probably would have felt a lot different about this movie. It's very possible. If it was the Ayer version of it. So, ugly part one is, again, the plot. It mm -hmm. should have been the Enchantress, which you created. You brought mm -hmm. that up. Yep. And Diablo. Everybody else irrelevant. Part two, and more importantly, mm -hmm. and this is a super ugly, mm -hmm. the guy I'm rooting for mm -hmm. is a Joker. Right. You said that The right. entire time. Mm -hmm. I should never... Ever mm -hmm. for the Joker. Yeah. It, what did he do to Robin? What oh, did yeah. he do to mm -hmm. Batgirl? Yeah. Rape. Mm -hmm. yeah. Put her in oh, a really? hospital or put her in a wheelchair. You made me root mm -hmm. for one of the most horrible villains mm -hmm. in yeah. DC. Because yeah. his was the only mission that was pure. Mm -hmm. I'm a dude trying to save my girl. Right. What the hell, man? Mm -hmm. And th to me, that's beyond ugly. Do not make me root for the Joker. I don't mind watching being entertained by him, right. but I never want to say, go Joker. <laughs> and through this whole film, I'm like, hell yeah, great. And you just crashed and get another helicopter. How, do you have a, a tractor full of these, or a tractor trailer Apparently. full of these? Apparently. Bring it in the next helicopter. They just got him waiting for him. Um, so, well, one thing I want to mention, because I was going to mention this in the bad, but I thought, because I thought you were going to go more into this on the ugly, but you didn't. So I got to mention it now. Okay, go ahead. It's kind of like a, a, an addendum to the bad, um, <laughs> which is the Enchantress, who is... Uh, actually more June than the Enchantress, the worst archaeologist I've ever seen in my life. Because what does she do? She finds this thing, and she just starts breaking things open yeah. to find yeah. out what's inside. Without researching. Oh, my God. Or... The, yeah. the, the, no archaeologist in the world would do this. Mm. You don't just go into the place and start touching everything. Mm. You you catalog everything. You, you dust it all. You know, you... you basically are trying to preserve everything. An archaeologist wouldn't have touched anything in there. A good one, anyway. True. You know, that's what bothered me about this. It's like, you know, it could have even fast forward. Like, it's already been collected. It's already been cataloged. And while she's in the process of doing whatever, she accidentally broke it open. That made so much more sense. Mm -hmm. But her just twisting the damn head off and the thing comes out because that was actually her prison. And then she goes and possesses her. But it's what the plot needed it to do. I know. I understand that. <laughs> All right. So that was my addendum. So Does this mean I get to roll with Kate Demon again? No. Aww. So now uh, I'm going to move to my ugly. Um, so, uh, and, and this, this should, this probably won't surprise anybody. But my ugly was another sky beam. <laughs> really? <laughs> how, oh. how many sky beams have we had now? Oh my god! I, I I'm so so tired of this cliche. Like, here's the thing: uh, it didn't even bother me at first. You know, it, it, all these movies doing this because it's a big thematic thing. You know, it became uh, a big thematic thing that uh, people really, you know, seem to like, so they kept doing it. But, oh my, I it's like, can't you do something else? And why did this one have it? It was supposed to be, she's going to build a machine, right? So, okay, humans worship machines now. They don't worship gods. They're going to build a machine. Why do we need a sky beam for that? they are got all the things around the building. That's enough. Just had the building glow. Had the building glow, have all this stuff around it. Or here's a better idea. Here's a crazy idea. Let's actually build a machine. Well, she's not building anything. She's using magic to go and just have stuff float and spin around it. And create putties. And create putties, yes. I'm sorry. Put, all, all the putty eyes. Haven't you seen the, the script to Field of Dreams 2? No. 
No. Oh, no. It's the bottom of the seventh. Scott Carr's up to bat. We've got three men on base. And holy crap, there's a sky beam <laughs> out of nowhere in the middle of fucking wood. Yeah. That's what it feels like it's going to. Like yeah. every movie. The freaking sky beam. Is going to have a sky. I, I, oh. I'm so glad you touched on that. Oh, I was. It, I totally forgot about it until you just. Yeah. Because when I'm watching the movie <laughs> and. She's like, oh, you know, they worship machines. I'm going to build a machine. I'm thinking she's going to uh, either magic up something or just start taking, like, the stuff around them, like the cars and stuff like that, and she's going to build a monstrosity, like right. some kind of giant uh, monster or something like that. I was you know? curious what the machine was that we're yeah. going to worship. Mm -hmm. Yeah, well... She says we worship machines. She's talking about because we drive cars and we have computers. Right, right, right. And but we she watch was going to build something to be another god. Yeah, and that's the thing. That's why I'm thinking Ooh. it's going to be like a giant monster, or it's going to be like something that's going to just uh, process humans and turn them into something. In fact, at first, that's what I thought the the eye things were. I thought that she had already started, that the machine was already able to do this, uh, that it was turning humans into these eye creatures. Uh, but then, no, no, that's just her kissing them, and they turn into eyeballs. <laughs> Such a disappointment. It really was. Like, I was just really disappointed with what could have been rather interesting, because yeah. it had a budget. It had a good, decent it had budget. a director. And it, just, the, I, I, uh, oh man, yeah. there's, there, there were so many ideas there and just, just dropped, you know. It's and, almost like the studio looked at it and went, okay, this is way too good. Never mind. We have to fuse well, it up. Well, well, a big part of it was, uh, in, this is what David Ader even said, because he, you know, the director said, he said that basically they, the studio got scared when Superman versus Batman didn't do well. Right. And that was dark. That was gritty. So when he's sitting here making a dark, gritty film, they're like, no, 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 no. That's not what people want. We got to lighten this thing up. We got to change. We got to do reshoots. We got to do all this. And that's when his cut went out the window. Yeah. You know, and that's when everything got changed. So I would love, love, love to see his version of the film. I really do. I would like to see what that was because... Uh, I, I suspect it was a far better film. Not that I hated this movie. I know you didn't care for it, but no, personally, I like this movie to a point, but I, I'm not sure if it's the movie itself I like or the potential that I see there. You know, And that could very well be what it is. It could be that I like the potential I see, and maybe if we actually could get the David Ayer cut, we could see that potential realized. That's why I would love to see it. So. Wow. Wow, we actually fought that whole thing out a little bit. Mm -hmm. What is going on here? It's crazy, isn't it? I know. So, uh, any more ugly? No, I'm I good. Think, I, I think that's ready it. Ready yeah. for a coffee cup. So, we, I think we got to give this movie some coffee cups. Um, we have to give this so, movie some coffee so cups. So, you go ahead. You you give it some coffee cups. What, what are you thinking for this one? One quarter coffee cup. Wow, you are just not kind to of this movie at all. Plus, <laughs> one full coffee cup for Will Smith. Why do you always make so this math equation? One and one quarter coffee cup. All right. One and one quarter. That's the best I can do. Don't complain later that you have to cut the coffee cup into quarters. I understand. Because you are, I, I'm going to hear about this later. Like, dude, you're the one coming up with the quarter coffee cups, not me. It's not worth don't a half. Don't be complaining to me. I understand that. I'm just saying, don't complain to me when you got to cut that coffee cup into quarters. I highly recommend. <laughs> no, no, I highly recommend seeing this film when The mm -hmm. Suicide Squad comes out next uh, this mm -hmm. summer. But Suicide Squad, oh, just stay away. Mm -hmm. Okay. Just... Me, three out of five. Uh, because there's enjoyable stuff in this movie. I feel there's enjoyable stuff in this movie. Um, I did enjoy. Here's the thing. I had an entertaining time watching this film. I did. As much as I hate to say it, I, in fact, I, I rate this a guilty pleasure, honestly, because I enjoyed this movie. I really did. Um, I so, so wanted to see the David Ayer cut, nonetheless, because I suspect I would rate that much higher. 
uh, than the three. But I have to give this three because I was entertained. I did enjoy this film. I do not regret seeing this film in theaters because I saw it in theaters when it first came out. I don't regret it at all. I enjoyed uh, most of what I saw. I have, I've mentioned the bad, I mentioned the ugly. Uh, and if that's going to turn you off this film, yeah, don't watch it. There's no reason to. But if those things don't turn you off, if you don't mind seeing another Skybeam, uh, I still found it enjoyable. I would still give it a shot. But that's just me. You know, and you know, not everyone's going to agree with me. Not everyone's going to find this as entertaining as I did. But uh, I hope that uh, with being told what you know, we thought was good and bad about this film, everyone's going to have a better understanding of whether or not they want to see it if they haven't already. With that said, I am going to do something here. Let me just clear this off. I am going to take this quarter <coughs> coffee cup here and we're going to put it right there. Because you mentioned the sky, sky beam. So I am giving this one, one coffee cup. User, they gave it three <laughs> and a quarter. <laughs> I'm sticking with the three. You can get rid of it. For a coffee cup, <laughs> it's three. I'll never get it back. <laughs> I don't care. <laughs> Bye. You can make a new one later. I don't care. I, so yeah, mm -hmm. not bad, not bad, but uh, not good. Yeah. Well, like I said, I, I feel that there's kind of a equilibrium between good and bad for me. But like I said, not everyone's going to agree with me. So. So, we good? I think that's it. All right. That's like, for subscribe, one. talk to us. Yeah. Hey, disagree, we, argue. Yeah. Uh, actually, also, if you have a suggestion for a movie you would like us to talk about, please let us know in the comments below. Absolutely. Uh, or we, if you're listening to the podcast, mm -hmm. uh, you can, uh, on Twitter, two guys, two guys movies. Two guys movies. Go hashtag thingy. Yeah. There you go. All right, let us know because we do uh, read all the comments. Uh, and we do uh, look at uh, you keep uh, up on the Twitter. I do. On, I don't. I'm a Twitter. But fiend. he does. Uh, likelihood is if you're talking to someone on Twitter, it's probably him. Um, or Discord. <laughs> or Facebook. <laughs> yep. There you go. We're all over the place. Or so, in the comments hey. section. No. <laughs> no. He, he, he gets in the I comments. comments once a while. Yep. I comments. I comments once a while. He does. He comments. <laughs> I comments. Uh, so yeah. That's it for this episode. Yep. Uh, so, yeah, just let us know if you got any suggestions. Uh, we will definitely take them in consideration. Uh, nothing's guaranteed, but you never know. Yep. And uh, then uh, until next time. Uh, and thanks for watching. Laters. Five, four, three, two, one.